Hello everyone. In this uh, session, we are going to talk about uh, how do you fit an appropriate statistical distribution to a data. I have a raw data containing different observations which were collected from the real world scenarios. Now to that particular data, I want to try and fit different kinds of distributions to it. So I may want to see if this data is following a normal distribution or not. Or is this data following a gamma distribution or not. Or is this uh, data following uh, uh, exponential distribution or not. Or probably some extreme value distributions like is it following a viable distribution. Now, if at all it is following any one of these, let's say if it is following a gamma distribution, what are the parameters of that particular gamma distribution? We know that the gamma distribution has two parameters, alpha and beta. So, what are the best fitting values? Right? What is that best fitting value associated with uh, the gamma distribution? If at all I have to fit a gamma distribution to this particular data, what would be the best possible values for alpha and beta? How do I really estimate the values of the various parameters? Similarly, when I am fitting a normal distribution to the data, how do I really understand what are the parameters of that normal distribution, which are the mu and the sigma? So, depending on the kind of distribution I am trying to fit to the data, I have to estimate the parameters and based on that parameters I would like to see how good is the fitment of the data to a particular distribution. So let's uh, get started. So here are in this session our uh, objective is to use uh, a programming language like R, try out different kinds of distributions which can be fitted to a given set of data. So we'll take a data set, we'll try to see different kinds of distributions which can be fitted to that data set. So we'll use an appropriate package, how we can fit a distribution to a particular set of data. That is what we are going to look at. So in this context, first understanding what is meant by estimation of the parameters, what is meant by fitting a distribution to a data. Then we'll talk about uh, four different methods of estimation of parameters. One very commonly used maximum likelihood estimation approach. This is called as the method of movements approach. Right. So there are different ways in which I can find out the alpha and beta of a gamma distribution. Or I can find out the mu and sigma of a normal distribution. Then we have a quantile matching estimation and we have a goodness of fit, maximizing the goodness of fit kind of an estimation. So we will take one single example. We will try to fit uh, one particular distribution. Let us say I want to fit, I will take a data. I want to fit a gamma distribution to that particular data. Right? And I want to see using each of these four different approaches which one is giving me what kind of estimates for the various parameters that I am trying to estimate. So primarily the, the main point that we are covering in this session is I am trying to look at unknown parameters for a particular distribution. So we know always let us say we are talking about a gamma distribution we talk about two unknown parameters, alpha and beta. Similarly, when we are talking about normal distribution, we talk about mu and sigma. Similarly, when we are talking about, uh, uh, let us say, uh, 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 a beta distribution, again, that also we talk in terms of alpha and beta. So, different kinds of distributions have different parameters. So, there could be location parameters. There could be scale parameter and there could be shape parameters. So some combinations of each of these parameters would be defining different kinds of distribution. So when we have uh, 
a good understanding of the different distributions, we would be knowing which distribution is defined by which of these different kinds of parameters. So the main objective is, I'm fitting a model, right? Uh, I may fit a gamma distribution model or I may fit uh, some other uh, model to a particular data. Once I am fitting a particular model, I can very well get all the quantities of interest. So once I know that this particular data follows a gamma distribution, I can very well find out the mean of the distribution. I know it is alpha by beta, right? Our variance of a gamma distribution is alpha by beta squared. So now once I know that this particular distribution is more appropriate to this particular data, other quantities of interest can quite comfortably be computed. I can find out the mean, variance, quantiles, etc. from that fitted distribution. That's the advantage of fitting any given distribution to, uh, uh, fitting any given data to a particular distribution. The more and more uh, accurately and appropriately I am able to fit a data to a particular distribution, the more accurate it would be for me in terms of using the various uh, uh, the derivative uh, quantities of, from that particular distribution. So here the main uh, assumption that we are making is whatever the data that we are collecting, x1, x2, x3, xn, we have collected uh, n different uh, observations. Right, based on these n different observations only we are fitting a distribution. So the main assumption in the process is all these observations we are getting from a random sample where all these observations are IIDs, independent and identically distributed. So they have the same kind of distribution, all of them follow the same type of distribution. All of them are independent. Observation 1 versus observation 2, there is no dependency. So if the observation 1 value is very high, it, need not, it cannot tell anything about observation 2. So that means they are completely independent. So this is some of the assumptions that are going in the overall process of uh, doing this fitting of the distributions to particular data. So out of the four methods, the first of its kind is maximum likelihood estimation. So when we are doing a maximum likelihood estimation, we first form a likelihood equation, one with our parameter theta and all the n observations that we have. So what we typically do here is we take the density function with respect to the parameter. So, if I am talking about uh, uh, a normal distribution, the density function is something like this, 1 by root 2 pi sigma squared e to the power of minus half x minus mu by sigma whole square. This is the density function associated with a normal distribution. Now, here we are taking x size, x1, x2, x3, so on. Now the likelihood function for me is the product of the multiplication of this uh, density function across all the possible values of x. If it is, uh, if it is uh, uh, a continuous distribution, I will take the density function and I will multiply it. If it is a discrete distribution, I will take uh, the probability function and I will do the multiplication. So in either of the cases, I am multiplying across all the values of x. So that particular value, I want to do a maximization. So it's like product maximization I am doing. So the instead of product maximization, sometimes what people say is instead of multiplying all these, uh, uh, this equation, this expression n times because we have n different observation, we can take the logarithm. So when we take the logarithm, the multiplication becomes addition. So the same thing, I take the logarithm and instead of multiplication, 
this part will get converted into addition and I want to maximize the addition which is why we call it as uh, rather than both are meaning one and the same because I don't uh, there is nothing to do with the value there I am not bothered about what is the value that I get after multiplication the only thing is I want to maximize it I want the maximum possible value so for what values of uh, theta which is my parameter the whole uh, likelihood function is getting maximized